the foundation of our modern world, the most commonly used metal, steel. Made in cold-powered blast furnaces, it's responsible for spewing large quantities of CO2 into the atmosphere. The climate crisis already wreaking havoc, cleaning up the industry is no longer an option. L'acier, c'est vraiment ce que nous on appelle le tissu de la vie. Sans cet acier, on est incapable d'avoir un monde moderne tel qu'on l'imagine. Nous produisons de l'acier à destination de beaucoup d'autres industries, que ce soit l'industrie de la construction, de l'automobile, et dans tout un tas d'applications que vous ne soupçonnez même pas. Cette usine ici produit entre 6 et 7 millions de tonnes d'acier par an. L'industrie de l'acier émet du CO2 de par son process. Nous partons du minerai de fer qui est ici à, notre, à ma droite, qu'on va transformer dans des hauts fourneaux qui sont derrière moi. Et on utilise du carbone pour enlever l'oxygène qui est posé sur le fer et donc faire du fer pur. Et cet oxygène, il va aller avec le carbone et faire du CO2. On a une volonté de se décarboner qui est très forte. 35% de réduction de nos émissions à 2030 et la neutralité carbone en 2050. La première voie qui est à horizon court terme en 2022, c'est l'augmentation de l'usage d'acier recyclé dans la production d'acier. On doit entièrement réinventer la manière dont on produit de l'acier aujourd'hui. On sait grosso modo comment on veut y arriver, mais par contre, ça va nous prendre de temps, de l'énergie et des moyens. On estime qu'à l'échelle d'ArcelorMittal France, il faudra investir entre 1,5 et 1,7 milliard d'euros sur la prochaine décennie. If coal and oil are the usual climate villains, the role of heavy industries in steel in particular is oftentimes overlooked. And yet it accounts for nearly 7% of global greenhouse gas emissions, more than India, the third biggest carbon emitter on the planet. For every ton of steel produced, two tons of carbon dioxide are pumped into the atmosphere. Needless to say, steelmakers with the grand ambition of becoming carbon neutral face a monumental task. And so the race is on to make steel green. One idea is gaining traction, replacing coal with hydrogen to produce the metal. It is by far the most promising solution, but one that comes with high costs. The price to pay to radically transform one of our dirtiest industries. Here we have the chance to significantly save CO2 and to become climate neutral. We are substituting our present blast furnaces with natural gas and hydrogen. So here we are inside a 2.5 megawatt PEM electrolyzer which produces green hydrogen. This electrolyzer plant is connected with a 30 megawatt wind farm which delivers the renewable energy. We will have the chance in Europe, for example, to replace more than 50 blast furnaces and to save more than 50 million tons CO2 per year. The basis for a green steel transformation is the sufficient amount or the sufficient availability of renewable energy. At the moment, it's the difficulty how to finance this transformation and we are in an international competition with steel producers from outside Europe. And therefore we need some regulatory framework conditions to save our market. We have to expect a price increase per ton of green steel of up to 250 euros. Such an amount of money has to be accepted by a customer, for example, to buy a new car produced out of green steel. The transformation of steel will surely not be for free. Most of the buildings are built with concrete, with steel inside. At the moment, the building industry is responsible for about 25% of the global CO2 emissions. 
carbon concrete can be a very important part of becoming climate neutral. Carbon cannot corrode. So we do not need any concrete which we use as protection for steel. The CO2 emission is reduced by about 70%. One kilogram of steel costs about one euro and one kilogram of carbon costs about 14 euro. That looks expensive, but it has more strength and it is lighter. If we take our costs regarding to the performance of the material, carbon is even cheaper than steel. I'm really proud of it that now the first building was built out of carbon reinforced concrete. So we have strengthened a lot of old buildings. Uh, we are now building the first bridge for also heavy trucks and now we are ready to put it into large production. So I think that um, carbon reinforced concrete will be replace a lot of the steel reinforced concrete within the next 20-30 years.